All right, so today's video is gonna be pretty dope because we got Inwin's paw case. Uh, this actually got received this uh, a month ago, but I finally got to it now and we're gonna be building it out. This is gonna be a two part video. The first video, which you guys are watching right now, is gonna be me building this case and seeing how long it takes. And the second video is gonna be actually doing a build inside this mini ITX uh, chassis. Now this is a fully modular case, meaning that you build it out from ground up. It's perfect if you're trying to do something with your kids, if you want to get them into tech, or even if you like this kind of thing, then this is actually perfect. It does come in two color variations. This is Tropical Sweetheart, and there's another one, which is Race Blue, and that one is a blue and black, and this one is a green and yellow. And if you haven't noticed, Inwin ships this case in a pizza box like package and the reason why they do this is for environmental reasons and they don't want to basically they can fit everything inside this tiny little package and you're all good now the materials are made out of electro galvanized steel which is anti-corrosive anti-rust and to build this thing out well anyone gives you two ways to do this if you look inside the packaging once you open this pizza this large pizza over here they have some illustrations on the front cover of the box and also on these individual packages gives you a, um, a manual on how to fold these there are going to be seven panels in here you got seven panels that are either the rear panels front panels bottom top they give you also a gpu riser cable some rubber mounts for the corners they also include a al120 luna fan in here so they pretty much set you up for success. Also, you get an accessory box with some zip ties, all that good stuff. And the second way to get this thing going is there's an app that you can actually download. It's called Inwin Park. I believe that's what it's called. And that one is actually my favorite one. I actually played around with it a little bit before starting this video. And it's got some nice animations, really cool stuff. So I'm going to go with that one. This is cool too, Inwin. I'm not knocking you down for this. But come on, animation is a lot doper. Plus it's your own app. So seven panels in here and we're gonna actually go through these and see what these panels are and what they're for. So we got a side cover panel, another side cover panel, got your motherboard plate, top panels, bottom panels, front panel and rear panel. And like I mentioned, you got your cables in here. You got your GPU riser cable, AL120 fan. You got some handlebars, handle bars uh, because remember this is a mini itx case and you can move it around also these little rubber uh, mounts that you hook up to the pc which we're gonna find out where these go at the end but let's get this started so i'm gonna hop on the app right now and we're gonna start building this out and it's pretty easy because all you do is just fold your way to success and that's what we're gonna do so the first piece we're gonna start out with is the motherboard plate. And as I take this out, we're gonna see how it looks like. And here's the packaging. Let's close this up, put that on the floor. And here it is. Not bad. Very malleable, as you can see, I already bent a little piece of it. So looking at the instructions, first animation. So it says, we gotta build this piece up. So let's see how easy, okay. So that was, that was pretty simple. This side up as well. We bring this piece up. We got our first piece in guys. This is fun already. I'm already having a good time. So we got this going. Also, we need to hook up some um, standoffs for this. So let's get our, our accessories. So we got our uh, motherboard uh, standoffs here. We're gonna open them up. We have another one at the bottom over here. And there you go. So we got the standoffs on the motherboard panel. It's coming along, people. It's coming along. We're getting the in-wind puck all set up. And I'm actually liking this color a lot because it's, it's a sweetheart, tropical sweetheart. Next up, we got the front panel. And this one should be a breeze because we're not installing anything on there. So we just fold and place. So let's see how we do this. Put the graphics face down and just flip these up. One, two. We got the front panel. What's next? The instruction says rear panel. And rear panel should be as simple as the front panel was. 
expensive. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually pretty satisfying. Okay, and we got our rear panel right over here. We'll start with the front panel. Okay, we're getting into the very yellow. And these are, cool. these are pretty cool because you can actually flip these in and out. So for airflow, which is actually pretty cool. So we'll bring these up. Got our sides on, got our sides on, side man. Next up, we're going with our top panel. We're almost done, three more panels. So top panel, okay? We got a little baby blue action with a little yellow. So how do we get this top panel going? Okay, so we flip this around, up. Pretty dope, pretty dope. So we got that going. We have another side cover and it's gonna do the same thing with this. Okay. And last but not least, the bottom panel. Let's see how we do the bottom panel. It's like doing water cooling with two 90s. Gotta go ch -ch. All right, this one's gonna be a little bit interesting. So let's start this over. So we get one going up like this. This the end. Put this up like this. Or we'll place these pads on these corners. And there you go. We have a piece of the bottom panel hooked up. So if you're doing the bottom panel, these tabs right here, you see the black ones. I don't know if the camera can show, but you're supposed to place four, two on one side, two on the other, and we're done. These are all the panels, and we are now set to put everything together. We're gonna start off with the motherboard tray and the bottom panel. So essentially, what the instructions saying that we place the tray right in here, right? And then we just screw these down with some S1 screws, which are gonna be right here. All right, well, it's coming along. It's coming along. Now, I.O. module. So we have our I.O. module right here. I hooked up the I.O. module. It's kind of weird, but I guess this would go around like this. And that's how it would work on the side. So now let's go ahead and put the top, the top panel and how we're gonna go with the handle. So the top panel and the handle. So the top panel is gonna be right here, like that. Everything is aligned like that. So we got the handles on here and we're almost finished with the whole case and it's looking pretty cool, very light already. So now next up we got is the riser cable. All right, we got a riser cable and how do we put this inside? I gotta say that I, this is a first time experience for me. And we got the riser cable installed, as you can see right here. The core goes right in between that hole. Now we get the side cover. And where do these go? So we got two panels left, which again, these little uh, ventilation parts could be either flipped to your desired orientation, how you want airflow to go. But it's pretty simple. What we're gonna put here now is we are gonna slot them, I think, boom, like that and we just gotta screw this in. And same thing that we did to the other side panel, we push that in and booyashaka. One on one side, flip it around. There you go. A nice little fun project uh, that took me, I would say 20 minutes. Uh, and probably some people will finish faster than me because I'm just slow at these things. So anyway, uh, but looks pretty cool. All right, so we got the in-wind pod fully built, set up, live in action, and it has definitely been an experience for me. If you're somebody who likes to do these kind of projects, well, the in-wind pod is right for you because you build it, 
when it's flat in a pizza box like package and it turns out to something like this or if you have kids that want to get into pc building well here it is then this is perfect way to get them into it loving this colorway the tropical sweetheart definitely giving me some island vibes i love colors so i think this is very playful very fun also keep in mind that you still have these ventilation spots that you can push or pull depending on your preference of ventilation. You can also remove these side panels. So when I do a part two where I build inside this PC, we can easily remove these screws on the side, remove the covers, and same goes with the other side. Really weighs like nothing, honestly. It's not even heavy at all. These handlebars are a real nice addition to the case. And speaking about components, we got a length of 346 millimeter GPU length that you can fit in here and also PSU length 160 millimeters. So you can still fit your high end components without sacrificing anything. Well, let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you guys are going to get this. And if you are going to get this, what color are you going to go for? Also, guys, toss a like if you enjoyed this video. It helps me and the channel out. And also subscribe for more content because you don't want to miss part two where I start building inside and future content because I'll be rolling out with a lot of future stuff. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one.